So I wasn't going to make a video this soon after my initial first impressions. We all know my thoughts and we know many of your thoughts, but it's been brought to my attention uh, that, that people have actually not just let it go by and actually done some uh, research. So I've been presented with this discussion thread on the day before from Fast, and uh, I think it's got quite a few people's uh, input as well. And we see all the assets that are used, um, allegedly. Uh, I don't know if, uh, it, how obvious it is. We'll have a look in a minute um, in uh, the day before. Now, this, uh, of course, I've mentioned before, five years of the de development on the day before, and all of the work was done by them. Um, they, they never mentioned assets or anything like that. Uh, as far as anybody was concerned, they did all the work, and that's what took them so long. Um, along with that, I'm going to put up on the screen now uh, a picture of their moderator team or the development team for Fantastic saying it, it, it's not an extraction shooter, it's a survival game over and over again. And by definition, it is an extraction game, so it's, it's just stop lying. Um, anyway, we're going to go up and have a look through some of these asset packs that there's a, there's a wow, as you can see, it's a, it's a huge list of all the assets that's pretty much the whole game built uh, from the marketplace here in this thread. And we've also got some um, extra images here, but I'll leave a link to this directly in the description below and the comment section pinned for you guys to check out yourselves and look into it in more detail in your own time. Now, I will preface this again with saying there is nothing wrong with using asset packs. Small development teams like myself, we are a three-man team working on the actual game. We have two audio engineers as well, but we don't have a 3D modeler or animator. There's only three of us, engineers and game designers. We are using the asset packs as best we can. We're modifying where we can to give it our own unique look. Um, but, you know, we're super open about this. We never hide anything from anybody. And when we can get custom models made uh, down the line, we will do. Uh, these guys, of course, have said they, they're not using them. So, of course, don't take that to heart. Any smaller indie devs um, that are using asset packs don't ever feel bad for using asset packs. This is not aimed at, uh, at you guys uh, being an indie dev myself. This is not. Is, don't take it to heart by, by any means. Uh, even big AAA companies use these, but they use them in their own way amongst their own uh, design and art, and it comes out totally unique and different. To a certain degree, we're all going to start noticing asset packs. There's a lot of good ones out there. We're going to be using the best ones we can find, so there's going to be a lot of replication we're going to see amongst games, but that's just, just going to happen unless um, the smaller dev teams can get some money and we can hire modelers. But anyway, I'm rambling again. Stop rambling. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the Abandoned Church, I know, is... Uh, I recognize it straight away from my, my playthrough, if uh, anybody saw the stream. And we will go here and have a look. And this is this is it, the church right next to the uh, extraction point bunker, right next to this church. It's an asset pack. It does look pretty good in their game. They have decorated things, of course. They have done a bit of work with other assets adding to this. Um, but it's pretty much just this pasted it in and not modified or anything like that. Um, not that there's, there's too much you can do real with these some of these assets, really. You can't modify them, um, you know, unlimited different variants. It's kind of, you're limited to kind of this kind of base layout, but you can do what you can with changing textures, materials, adding different details and debris and things like that. And then moving on, we've got the city, which again is, they've made it kind of look a little bit their own, a bit more apocalyptic, but yeah, it's pretty much this, this city pack pasted in and, and, and um, yeah, dirted up and things like that. So yeah, it's, um, that's what that is. Uh, there is quite a lot more on here. Uh, residential houses, which I believe is the prop house ones. Let's um, open this quick. Oh no, that's not, that's a different one. Okay. Um, they do use prop house as well, by the way, which we are using because they're some of the best, if not the best assets you can get on the marketplace right now. Um, games like Alan Wake 2 again have used those. Oh yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna get shit for it, Graham. You can see all the videos flowing through now. You can just see it all now. Wait, this is prop house asset. This fence is prop house. Games like Alan Wake 2 are using prop house, so if it's good enough for them, surely indie devs can use it. Uh, yeah, so this is a different type of house. This is a good, good quality house, though. I like this house. We've got a cars pack here. I think these are the cars. They look very familiar, um, but they have used Substance Painter to uh, dirty them up and look at, make them look old and things like that. So, um, But yeah, those, those are some of the cars that are used.
There's things like ultra dynamic sky and, uh, and weather, which is like a, a total lifesaver for indie developers. It does all the lighting and uh, weather and sky effects, day and night cycles. It's a, it's a, and for 39.99. So if I go back to the top here, it says early access rules. They break many of them. I've not read through that myself, um, but I'm sure they probably do, false advertising and all that. Also, they are botted reviews from Prop Night. But yeah, I thought I'd do a quick video uh, and, and give you guys an update and, and give you this uh, this post here. Uh, it's been posted on Reddit as well, I believe. I'm sure there's more that's missing from this list. I've not looked through all the replies. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, yeah, I'll leave it in the description below and, and pinned in the comments uh, for you guys to check out yourselves and uh, see if you spot anything. I thought I'd just think this very interesting uh, that people are actually investigating this and doing a lot of research. Gaming community is amazing. And uh, we always got each other's backs. And I, I love to see it. You can't hide nothing from us. That's what I'm saying. Nice one fast. And anybody else involved really do appreciate this. I also heard that Steam are suppressing the day before from appearing on the front page of Steam now, which is nice to see because it was there on the day of release and the day after, in fact, as well. Uh, so they are actually taking note of what's going on and actually doing something, which is awesome. On the plus side, Fantastic have done a couple of updates. Whether it's actually fixed anything, I, I couldn't tell you. I've not tried it. Um, I probably will over the next week, but um, yeah, give it a couple more updates and then we'll have another little dive in maybe at the end of the week and see what they've actually done uh, a week from release. But yeah, with all that said, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching and I'll see you peeps next time. Thank you.